Hey chess lovers, welcome back to the chess yard. This is Dehre Pagga and today I'll be playing the final blitz on Lee Chess and during the game I'll try to be as instructive as possible like always, making sure that there's something to be taken away as a learning that helps you improve your game to the next level. Now before I start with the game, I request you so to subscribe to my channel and press on the bell icon so that you don't miss out on any of the videos that I'm posting up daily without a miss. So yeah, let's start with the game and see how it goes. Got the black pieces and play the Karukan defense. C6, D5, the main move. Open can advance pawn or take. Does take here, so I'll take back. Until up the bishop maybe next. I can even go to G4. Pinning the knight. Uh, taking is one option, but I would like to develop. So pawn forward. Okay, you can take the knight and then spoil the opponent's castling. Pawn forward would lose the pawn, so that spoils the castle. I can take a free pawn, expecting pawn forward by the opponent now. Yep, that comes in. And I can just simply go back. Uh, I can come back to D as well, just in case required. So open is preparing to come and give a check. That will lose a pawn as well. So I'll play pawn forward instead, preventing that. Oh, that's a nice move. But I think I can take a pawn too. Does that work? Uh, or I should just save this pawn. I can save the pawn, the knight simultaneously. Of course, taking back is one option. Now he defends the situation there. Let's go with bishop. Trying to get the bishop active on the right diagonal. Get the knight out. Okay, that means I can give a check to begin with. Or, yeah, let's just get the bishop here. This knight is going to come here otherwise. Check doesn't work. Let's still up our knight. Okay. Can certainly place my queen here. Not a bad option. Of course, can come back. Coming back makes more sense. Trying to acquire the right square with the knight. That square actually belongs to the knight or the bishop. So I should come back in the next move straight away. Okay, not an option anymore. Um, I certainly don't want to lose my knight. Can go ahead here. Probably here next. Or maybe the bishop. Okay, that attacks the queen, so I have to come back. Uh, preparing to go with knight over here, which attacks, threatens checkmate. I have to take here another option. Opening does take back with the queen. So we can castle here. Uh, could I have given a check maybe? Still can. It's all equal. Nothing much of an advantage or a disadvantage for now. Let's begin with a check maybe. Or let's get the rook active. The ideas are simple. Once you move the pawn, then I can take another, some other pawn. Okay, now this gives me a space to get my knight active. This is attacking my knight now. And I can defend it. Simultaneously preparing for a discover attack next. This can be tricky. The next move. 
and he fell for it no he doesn't uh, what I can do here is let me just go here and give a check <clears throat> can win a rook or a pawn at least it depends on the next move of my opponent have to save the knight knight goes here attacking the rook as well as attacking the bishop <coughs> sorry for that and then i have rook coming down attacking the queen so lots of pressure building up on the second rank this should be decisive unless i make a blunder out of it hmm this is kind of nice situation to be in except the internet okay that gets sorted at least um i can take on the rook not a bad option take the rook opponent can take back why is my internet goofing up okay i should just come back and give a check maybe to grab another pawn and yeah, this makes sense now i have to be careful with the diagonal but it's not bothering me for now okay let's go attacking the queen with side steps now and i can go here this attacks the rook preparing to exchange queens nice move very small maneuvering but impactful can exchange queens from here as well okay let's exchange queens takes takes let's take the rook out of the game as well it's rook versus bishop end game let's do a rook lift this would lose him on this spot that traps his bishop yes it does <coughs> yeah that's the <coughs> yeah sorry for the voice feeling a bit cough but yes recording it daily as always won this one comfortably i would say let's analyze from the computer perspective what was the turning point started with e4 c6 and then d5 by me opponent takes here which is already advantageous because you're given the center pawns to the opponent so you should not take here but could have advanced the pawn here at my at best because if knight comes out then of course i can probably take or advance either ways i will have a good center eventually yes knight can go back and attack the pawn and i can defend it as well so that can be a good center pawn structure as well so probably as advancing was the best option and i take and then develop the bishop over to g4 open gets the bishop out i play pawn forward and i can take the knight and that's what happens and the open takes back i spoil the castling then go ahead with extra pawn take open plays pawn forward i get the queen back to h4 the ideas remain the same not letting my open develop properly then uh, I play pawn forward. Had to get my knight out here, ideally, just to make sure that I can take the pawn next. But instead, I play pawn forward and opponent smartly takes a pawn here. That was a nice move. I was impressed with that. I get my knight active. That's the only way to save the pawn here. Otherwise, I lose another eventually. So opponent takes here, I take back. And then uh, c3 by opponent. I go ahead with bishop to d6, trying to develop my bishop. Knight comes out. I develop my knight. All the right moves. Here, I wanted to check what was the best move. And just like an engine, even I was confused. So I went on with queen g3, which I eventually realized that was not the right square for my queen. And just maneuvered my knight over to d5. 
opponent attacks the queen i come back over to g6 all the right moves knight comes out i have to take i take opponent takes with the queen i can castle and so do i so a lot of best moves here i'm impressed and then rook gets doubled up i try to take advantage of the open b file again the right move opponent goes back with the queen and yes again the right move attacking the queen uh, which gets defended now and okay this was something tricky i could have gone with knight d2 the ideas of attacking the rook as well as the pawn opponent can save but then his rook gets deflected onto the wrong square and then you can probably break open the center get your rook active and take advantage from there on but instead in the game i went with queen over to f5 and open can move the king here but doesn't instead get, attacks my queen here with the rook i go back with the check which he saves with the bishop next and then again i found the right move which was knight over to b uh, d3 attacking the rook and the bishop and my opponent plays pawn forward losing the rook on the spot even if you would have played uh rook say over to E, uh, the uh, e4 i can take a free pawn for sure and then come back and that would be another folk uh, so my chances were nice even if my opponent doesn't make a mistake because of solid play so let's go back in the game where opponent played b3 and i take on the rook he takes back and then i just got my queen back over to f5 which he defends with the bishop I take a pawn which was hanging there and open place pawn forward i attack the queen queen sidesteps and this the right maneuvering there as well queen to d5 attacking the rook which gets saved up but then i just went with exchanging queens uh, always a safer option yes i can dominate this game better by um, keeping my queen on the board going over here trying to take on the pawn next maybe uh, i have this wonderful check coming too so things can go uh, better in this way but i prefer exchanging stuff when i'm way ahead so i just exchange stuff took the rook as well which he takes back with the bishop and yes then i get my rook on the open file and then just the rook left and here my opponent misses the move that i can play pawn forward next then so do i and there's no other way to save this bishop now but to sack it if you try to attack my rook instead i take the bishop if you take the pawn of course i take the uh, bishop then i have rook against and a pawn against just the lone king and um, i have strong uh, uh, king side pawn as well so this is comfortably winning winning and that's why the advantage of eight as per the computer engine so yeah pretty much decisive uh, advantage and my opponent resigns so that's how you can play solid and win it easy i hope you like the video do let me know your feedback keep watching and sharing do subscribe to the channel if you haven't already by now. Thanks for watching this and see you tomorrow with another game. Take care. Bye-bye.